Hey everybody, this is The Fourth here, and welcome to another episode of Tip Tuesday. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can do tape stops uh, in FL Studio. So I have a guitar loop here, and let's say that I want to kind of have a tape stop effect during this last bar here. And this is something that's actually really easy to do in FL Studio using Grossbeat. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of select this section because this is where I want it to happen and it allows me to easily play it over and over to test out sounds. And then, you know, load up a gross beat on the mixer track that the sound is going through. Uh, so I've already done that, you know, the sound is linked through this track and there's a gross beat on it. So once you have it all set up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the basic one and just kind of delete all these points. Because this gives me a nice um, starting point for the envelope that I need to draw in for the tape stop effect. So from here, it's uh, really quite simple. Basically, all you want to do is kind of drag a point down and make it one of the single curve options and, you know, give it this curve. And so you can determine where this starts um, by adding another point and having it all the way up at the top. Um, so, you know, you can have it a full bar long or you can just have it, um, you know, half a bar, two beats, or just however long you want. So I think that sounds okay. And you know, you can adjust the tension in that curve uh, to kind of set it how you want it to be. Um, and you can also adjust you know, how far down it goes uh, by adjusting that last point here. Um, so I think this sounds okay to me, except it does have kind of a reversing effect at the end there. So I want to get rid of that, and the way I'm going to do that is just, um, you know, I, I could adjust the envelope some more, but I think it's going to be easier just to go into one of these volume envelopes and basically kind of mute it as it starts to you know reverse so um yeah, i'm gonna set up like this and see how that sounds so i still hear a bit of that reverse so i'm going to take this point back a bit still hear a tiny bit So that sounds about right to me. And now if I go back to kind of the full um, playlist, you'll, you'll hear one problem is that it's kind of doing the tape stop over and over. And that's not what I wanted, but that's really easy to fix. Basically, I'm going to go back to the empty on each of these and right click, uh, create automation clip, Right click down here, create automation clip. And then I'm going to select kind of the first one because that's why I did it in and copy the value. And then, you know, the bar that I want that to happen, I'm going to paste that value. And I'm going to select it to hold. And I'm going to do the same thing for this one. Um, it should be the same value, but I'll just copy it just to be safe. Um, and then, so it goes from the empty one to the one that I modified. And then if I want it back to the empty one, I can make another point all the way down at 0%. So now it should only have that tape stop effect happening right where I want it. Uh, 
Um, so as you can hear, it worked just perfectly. So that's pretty much it for this video. You know, you can take the time to pretty much create exactly the tape stuff you want using uh, Grosspeed. And yeah, so you know, hopefully you found that to be helpful, and I will see you in the next video. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. If you thought it was helpful, please be sure to leave a like and maybe a comment if you have any questions or requests for future videos. If you're new to the channel, I encourage you to subscribe and have a look around. I've already uploaded a bunch of tutorials, and I try to release new ones every week.